where, where we where we rolling on with this? All right. So the next um the next kind of series I uh, want to show is um Bobby Schmurda in front of NBC Studios when he was about to be on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Um. So the the backstory is I met him that summer at uh, the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival, and he wasn't even um he wasn't even an act at that time. Um, he, Raekwon let him have a set and he didn't even rap, um, with his, um, other partner, Roddy was rhyming and he was okay. kind of just there doing hype and he didn't even do hot boy at that time. Uh, nigga, at that time, he was just on stage and I didn't even know who he was. Um, my, uh, my nephews were at the show and I snuck them backstage and they got to meet him, but I didn't know who he was. They knew he was because he had the viral video going out. So they took a picture with him and they just like, oh, get this picture, get this picture. I didn't even know who the dude was, but they, you know, they're more underground hip hop. Yeah, they, 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 they tuned, on that radar. They tuned in, baby. They tuned in. They tuned in. So yeah. they snapped this picture with him. Um, and, but they were ahead. But fast forward to the fall of that year, his record has bubbled throughout. Um, beginning the summer, um, I was told, I was told that, and this is how you get the inf this information is always messed up. Um, photographers are always kind of low man on the total pole when it comes to information. So I have learned over time to ask a lot of questions. Long story short, they told me that he was doing an event at NBC Studios for his performance that would be that night on late night. Um, I go to NBC Studios. I'm walking around all the NBC, the bottom of NBC Studios. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. They're like, there's no, <laughs> they're, I'm like, you sure? They're like, yeah, he's upstairs. They're like, he's upstairs performing, rehearsing right now, but, um, we saw him come in with his people, but we, I'm asking security. I'm asking the girl in the gift shop. I'm asking everybody. Like, nobody knows who I'm talking about, but I'm talking about. So I'm like, and so then I walk outside and, there's a reporter <laughs> from Rolling Stone, like, yeah, um, I'm here trying to, um, she saw me with the camera. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. She's like, are you here to shoot Bobby Schmurter? I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, I'm here to do a story on him, but can't find him. And she's like, I've been out here for every day. People keep saying that he's coming out, he's coming out. So I've been sitting here. So she's like tight. So I'm sitting there. I'm just like, I'm about to leave. Like, we're like, this isn't going to work. She's like, I'm about to leave. Um, but finally, he just comes outside. And, but there's no event. There's nothing. He just comes outside because they've been rehearsing and they're going to go get lunch. He's with his manager. And he walks out and I start shooting. So that's him and the reporter trying to stop him to get an interview, but he's really not trying to stop and talk to her. So I'm like, damn, I sat out here to get pictures of this dude. Um, I need to get pictures. And he's in the, you know, it's the middle of the sidewalk, you know, for people who aren't from New York city, this is right down the street from Rockefeller center where the ice skating rink is That's and where huge. they put the big tree. Um, so she's there trying to talk to him and he's not trying to hear it. So, you know, she continues, he sees me, and now he's paying more attention to me than he is to her. You can see her face. She's Silverback, baby. Because she's <laughs> not, you know. And if you, if, you, if you look at the difference in, like, look at the chain here, and then look at dude's chain now. Like, it's crazy. Like, he's wow. jeweled up. Like, he's, wow. like, jewels. Look at the watch. Like, he, you know, this is a kid who went from you know, basically on the block to a couple hundred thousand dollar deal, you know, and now it's going to be on, on late night. And after. Yeah, and now okay. he's going to be on late night. And, okay. you know, he's on top of the world, so, the, you know, he's, you know, not really feeling doing this interview for Roller Stone. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> it's that bit. <laughs> 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 but as you can see, she's talking to him and, um, you know, he's on top of the world, man. Like, look at that smile, man. He's just like happy to be out here. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's chilling and she's talking. She's trying to interview this dude and he's not talking. He's looking at people. <laughs> he's looking at me. He's kind of like their fans. And he's like, oh, yeah, hold up, hold up. He's going to take pictures with them. Like, you know, because people, he, he's another person that I would say he has a presence. You know, you're, you know, like, I don't even think people knew who he was, but they knew he was somebody important. Yeah, okay. You know, so he comes out, but then she's trying to interview him, and he starts dancing. Like, <laughs> is he, is he busting? He's is doing, he like, a shmoney dance. Is he, is he do, okay, Yeah, okay. he's, like, dancing, and I'm, like, this dude is not, like, I can not understand, like, why he was, I don't know if he had a history with her or whatever, but you can see her face. She's like, please just answer my questions. Like, what, what the woman not, said is the hat. I think it's the hat. I think he thought maybe he thought she was fake. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, she's looking at him. He's dancing. He's like in full shmoney dance. Like, he's like dancing, no music. Like, I, I'm like trying to figure out, like, what is going on. So, um, I, I literally like lied down on the ground. I, of course, like I'm a germaphobe now because of COVID. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I yeah, actually, better. this is me. I'm like on my butt, like leaned all the way back to get this shot of him pointing at the NBC sign. That's dope. You know, and something in my mind said, "Yo, can you point at the sign?" And you know, usually people would either either they're rocking with you when you're doing photography or they're not and you know he didn't know me i told him i had to get some pictures of him and you know he did it and this is the picture that you know it's sad because i saw this as the picture of where this kid was going you know but you take a kid and you give him not only do you give him a large money deal but also he also negotiates a deal for um both of his friends, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah. So not only did he get a deal for himself, he got a deal for two of his boys. You know, that was, a, that was the condition of his deal. So he's right. on top of the world, you know, and he's going to be performing on late night tonight. You know, that's huge. Like people will be, are in their career forever and never, did that <laughs> never get on real late night, you know, so he's going to come on, perform his show on his song on late night. You know, he has a hit, he has a deal, he's coming out, and then he gets arrested, you know? So this is kind of like where he was going and when he, where he ended up, it's just like, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard for people in the hood a lot of times because you just can't, you know, tomorrow get out the hood and leave all your people. I mean, some people do it, but, I mean, it's realistic that, you know, all the stuff that, you know, and the stuff that he got caught up in was stuff that, happened before all this. Yeah. You yeah. Know? But, you but, know, but, so. But, but, but you know what they say, you could take a person out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and it's, it's sad because he, he definitely had um, a decent following. Um, he had good music. Star power. Um, he had star power. You know, so I think a lot of people, you know, in, in, you know, prison, you know, is not, I don't, I don't wish that on anybody. So it's um, something that's hard to come back from. And I think a lot of people praised him when he came out because everybody's hoping for the next Tupac that goes to jail and comes out and does great, um, great things. But I don't, um, I don't think that happens for everybody. You know, yeah. I think we praise a lot. If people go to prison, we praise them when they come out and then they out. And now it's like, you know, you got to be in regular life. You know, well, so well, well. Hopefully they make because Roddy came out and he make he out here making moves. Hopefully you know he could recover. From yeah, all that. yeah. But uh, you know, and it's it's a hard time to come out, right? We're in the middle of a pandemic. You know. Yeah. 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 You know? So I mean, you know, it's 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 difficult, but um, you know, I, I hope the best for you know, hope the best for him and his crew. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> shout out to Bobby. Shout out to Roddy. You, Kyle, what you got? Um, but um, so these stories, right? Have you ever thought about putting 
a collection of, of, of some of your pictures together and writing a book or publishing a book? Um, yeah, but I think I'm not there yet. I okay. think um, I need some, uh, some more stories. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to put it out a short book. <laughs> <laughs> get a short you know? deal, right? Get a short you deal. You know, get a short, short deal, book, short but I'll just do the, the thin book. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I won't put out the, the back of the um, kindergarten classroom book. Like, I want yeah, the... You don't want to put out a comic book. You want to put out a novel. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I want want something that's relevant. You know, and that's my thing with photography. It's just like, how much am I going to be fine? You know? And if people wait till I'm dead to say I'm dope, then, you know, hopefully I can, this is afterlife and I can look down or my kids can benefit from it. uh, Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Well, so you want to keep it moving? I just wanted to say real quick, uh, welcome to everybody who's new to the platform. This is tuned in with the TKB Report. I'm K. Langevin, a.k.a. Mr. Three Keys. Make sure you follow me at the TKB Report on Instagram. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the TKBReport.com at uh, .captivate.fm for the podcast and subscribe to the TKB Report YouTube. And for those of you who are new and they don't know who Mr. Devon Warren is, and it's not too many people who, who are, who, who don't, follow him at DevonWarrenPhoto.com and at Devon Warren Photo on all platforms. Continue. All right. So the next one, um, I'm a huge, I think my whole block was like huge KRS-One, um, BDP fans. I was a huge fan of Red Alert. He kind of broke the group. And I got an opportunity to see KRS-One um, perform live at SOBs. And anybody that knows Karis one of follows hip hop knows that he did um he did a live album and part of the live album was at SOB. So this was kind of like iconic for me, something I always want to see coming up, you know. And you know, I it's funny because a lot of people said they wanted to go to the show, then I didn't show nobody wanted to go. So I ended up going by myself, but I took my camera because funny enough, usually at performances, you know, you, you need like a press pass or you need credentials, credentials to bring in yeah. any, type of, any type of recording equipment. But I guess Kara Rest is so hip hop, he could care less. He's like, let all the cameras in. Um, luckily, uh, I didn't post up in front of the stage because the front of the stage was crowded. And if SOBs has, it's actually a restaurant, so it has an elevated um, section that you can look over and see the stage. So I'm watching the show, and D Nice actually climbs on stage. D Nice was, was part of BDP. So if you look at this picture, um, D Nice is also a photographer, and this is D Nice KRS One performing. And um, that's KRS One's son, DJ. Oh wow! And that's okay. DJ Kenny Parker is um, KRS One's brother, and you know KRS One D Nice was on stage like taking pictures of KRS One the whole time, but he paused and like posed for D Nice to take this picture. And it, if you can see, um, D Nice is kind of laughing. Um, KRS One is making like <laughs> a face, and Kenny Parker thinks this is hilarious. So, um, you know, I took the picture and as usual, you, um, I posted it on Instagram and I, the nice DM me, he's like, look, he's like, look, you know, I usually wouldn't do this, but I need that picture. Um, this was the first time he's like, this is the first time in many, many, like decades that the whole BDP crew was together. 